Uh, so first and foremost, I want to thank all my old and especially my new subscribers and just the people that zip through. I greatly appreciate it. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Really helps with the algorithms. Uh, so I want to put that first and foremost. The next thing I want to talk about is the video drops for this week. The video drops for this week are going to be wonky. They're going to be really wonky. So the, they may not be on, you know, Mondays and Wednesdays. They might be, you might be seeing them pop up uh, like the other day on a Saturday or maybe on a Friday. So keep that in mind. Uh, so if you hit the bell for more notifications, uh, you won't miss uh, those videos. And the reason for that is in my state, you can, before the hunting se season really opens up, you can put in for draws. Uh, these draws are specific to the species of animal that you want to hunt, whether it's pheasants, deer, waterfowl, turkey, you know, uh, you put in for these hunts and if you get draw, go on a free hunt. doesn't cost you a thing, uh, which is pretty cool. And the past years, I've never gotten any. Uh, the pheasant hunt that's on the channel, that was a draw hunt. Uh, Sean, the researcher's dad, got picked for that draw hunt. And that was for a scientific research uh, and, you know, to see if pheasants could survive in uh, the north of, of the country. And, you know, we have harsh winters, harsh conditions, uh, not suitable for pheasants. So we got the ability to go out there and try and shoot a pheasant and then take all the little uh, nuances of that bird and report it to the DNR to see what they uh, thought about it and if it's going to be feasible. Uh, because, you know, you don't want to be throwing away state money, right? Uh, so that's the kind of hunts that you can go on. Well, I didn't enter any this year. I missed the cutoff line. But, but... Uh, Sean, the researcher's dad, who took me uh, on that hunt where I harvest my buck, was drawn. Not once, but twice. So, this is the deal. He was drawn for the dunes hunt. And the dunes is like beachfront area, you know, where the the richy rich uh, of uh, the class around uh, my area live. And there's a lot of state parks there. Well... It's time to thin out the herds of deer in the state parks. So this is where these hunts are going to take place. These parks are, are closed for two days. And multiple people are drawn for these hunts. And you can get up to three deer uh, a day. So you can come out with six deer uh, if you're lucky. And these parks are usually kind of saturated with deer. And it's gun season. It's early gun season, so you get the first crack at harvesting deer with a gun with this hunt. Well, Sean, the researcher's dad, got drawn twice for this. The early and then the late season. So he gets to go twice. Well, he gave me a phone call today. And he had his little soiree with the rules and regulations of this specific hunt he's going to go on. Well... They are talking about letting people that didn't get drawn hunt this place if people that are drawn don't go. So if these people don't show up, you get to take their spot. So you can bring a friend. If you get picked for this spot, you can bring a friend and they can go hunting uh, as well. So that's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to try and film this hunt as best to my ability. Now I don't know if I'm going to bring a tripod out there or do the old... Uh, holding the camera uh, or holding the phone and, and trying to, you know, give you a perspective of what's going on in the situations. Uh, but uh, I'm going to take the Benelli out there uh, with some slugs. I'm going to try and get me a couple of deer. Uh, one would be sufficient. And what's really cool about these draw hunts, they don't affect your your tags that you buy. This is free. Basically, all you have to do is put your name in a hat and hopefully they draw it. Uh, but they say, you know, they want to really manage the deer in these areas. Uh, they're getting they're getting out of control. And uh, so every year you got, you got a group of people that go in there uh, for early gun. They go in there and they harvest a bunch of deer. And then, you know, they check on the population uh, down the road to see uh, if they need to thin it out even more. So they might have a, another draw or something like that uh, it, 
in the future if they have to really uh, trim down the population of deer in this area. I've been in this area before, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of deer there. Now, the question is, are they going to be there when I'm there? That's the biggest question. Uh, so I'm going to go out there tomorrow uh, only for one day because uh, it's a two-day event on Monday and Tuesday. I can't get out there Tuesday. I have to work. Uh, but Monday was a vacation day. I was going to sit at my tree stand and hunt and try and tag out for the year. Well, I'm going to go try and tag another deer somewhere else. <laughs> and it's at this hunt. Then I can still go to my tree stand and still tag out, hopefully, for the year. So now I could either get three deer at this spot and then another deer at my spot or I could get a deer at this spot for the day and then get one again at my spot. So the more chances you get to hunt, the better opportunity that you're going to have to harvest a deer. I've always said this, the more spots that you have, the more draws that you enter uh, and you get the opportunity, the better chances you are at harvesting an animal and tagging it. Uh, it's just that simple. So that's what I'm going to be doing this weekend or this weekday. Uh, I took some vacation time off, which is cool. So I'm going to go there tomorrow. Uh, I have to register and I have to have a valid license, hunting license, uh, to be able to do this. And I have all that stuff uh, in line and in tow. So I'm going to go there tomorrow. I'm going to go talk to him, hopefully check in. Uh, the only problem is I only got five hours. They're only going to give you five hours. Not like these people that get drawn for it and they have the whole entire day. Uh, so I only get five hours to do this. Hopefully I can find something in five hours because this is, a, again, a very, very big area. It's a, it's a national uh, uh, park so you know, or forest or whatever you want to call it. So it's very, very key, key that I get on the deer as quick as possible. Uh, I am going to take my rattle call and my grunt call. Uh, this is another opportunity to harvest another buck. Shot a really good one November 1st. Yeah, very, very nice deer. Very aggressive deer, uh, but not, not nice, uh, nice in the freezer. So this might be another opportunity to get a buck. Now, I don't know if I'll, if I get a good buck here that I'll be able to afford to get him mounted uh, like uh, the last two, but man, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, to get another buck and then I'll get my buck from last year back this year and then I'll get uh, the buck that I shot here recently back next year and hopefully I can harvest another buck at this spot and get it back uh, somewhere around the same time uh, as I turn in uh, uh, the second one that I that I shot. So there's a lot of things going on here. A lot of things going on. So please be patient with me. Uh, again, it's going to be a little wonky this week. I'm going to try and film this hunt as best as possible. Uh, when I first learned about this, I was hoping uh, I could just tag along, you know, not even hunt, but just film it uh, from that perspective. Uh, because again, this is this area is very lucky. It's very lucky. I've I've read up on this. I've talked to some people that have hunted it. Uh, Sean, the researcher's dad's hunted before and took a really nice buck out of there. Uh, so there is a possibility that I could shoot three deer or at least get one and then go back to the tree stand or, or hunting spot number two and try and tag out for the season. So pretty cool experience I'm about to do tomorrow. I'm really super stoked. I'm going to take the Benelli and some slugs, hopefully lay down a deer. Again, I'd like to thank everybody that's sticking with me through uh this uh this year's hunting videos i know they're kind of they're kind of better than last year's so hopefully you're enjoying them and uh stay tuned for the video drops hit that bell for more notifications that way you can uh, really figure out when i drop the videos and like always guys we'll catch you on the next one